Yo, what's up guys? Finally doing YouTube. Gonna be doing a lot more of it. Thank you guys for your patience and I'm really excited to get started here. This is the first of many tutorials. I'm gonna be going over kind of like a lot of basics, but then doing like an advanced version as well. So today, without further ado, we're gonna be walking through textures. This is gonna be the basic one and I'm also gonna do a advanced version later. But yeah, just adding texture to your designs. It's kind of like that final step that I think really sets apart kind of good work and really great work that's kind of engaging and, you know, looks good. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So what I have here is one of the templates for my design pack two, obviously, and I'm just starting off with black and white because I think this is the easiest way to show what the different textures can kind of do to a design. So this one also kind of has a built in ink bleed effect. You can see this kind of rough edges. This is going to be a separate tutorial, but I will say this does help your texture kind of look realistic when you're adding it because like obviously just adding texture is cool, but you can kind of see through the digitalness of it when it doesn't have all those little, you know, imperfections that printing something would have, for example, but you can do a pretty believable rendition in Photoshop. So this is what the final is gonna look like, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly what's going on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search up Design Pack 2, because this one has a lot of the textures that I'll use here and a lot of kind of the basics that I think are really useful to get this effect. Mainly, you're gonna have a paper texture and an ink texture. These together are what's gonna make like that really realistic look. So, let's start with this paper texture. I think this is a good one. This was just like literally like a scan of a pink piece of paper with something in the background just to make it look realistic. Just gonna drag it into Photoshop. It's also important that it's the top layer because this is gonna affect everything below it. So make sure this is at the top. And what we're gonna start out with is the different blending modes because this is what's going to apply it to the design in a way that looks real. And so we're gonna be really kind of looking at these top five in terms of the paper because what we wanna do is like the lighter parts of the image we want to make look like paper. So what these all do are darken things. So parts that are light will get darkened by this texture. So that's really all you need to know for this. Um, and usually the one you're gonna go with is multiply. Certain applications could require you to do different ones, but multiply is definitely what's gonna work here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All the white that was in the image is now replaced by this paper texture. And you know, the quality of the texture will definitely affect how good the final result is. If you're kind of like just finding a paper texture on Google, it might not look as good as this. These are all scanned by me, but there's plenty of free stuff out there too. And next we're gonna do an ink texture. So an ink texture is kind of like a weird, I don't know, thing to say, but like the way I do it is I scan things that have pretty much that are all black because what that means is like, it is just kind of like what the black ink looks like on the paper. And then having like a whole big thing of this is really good for, for this application, like putting it on a texture because anywhere that is dark pretty much will have the ink texture on it. Definitely easier to show than explain. Also works with other colors too. This blue one looked really good on this one. Let's start out with the black one because I think this is like the classic one that everyone does. And then we can try the blue later. So again, literally just putting the ink texture on the top. You can experiment with putting it under the paper texture. Usually I like to keep it on top because it's like a little cleaner. Otherwise that pink is gonna affect the ink. Sometimes that actually does end up looking more realistic, but in this case, I'm just gonna put it on top. And whereas the paper texture, we wanted to make things darker. The ink texture, we wanna make things lighter. So we want things that are black or dark to get affected by the light parts of the image. So we're gonna kind of like raise it with these following five. And again, the classic that I always go with is screen. Certain applications, these other ones might work, but let's just do screen for now. Now, really you can see this well when you zoom in, but even when you're not zoomed in, it just kind of gives it that something, that extra, you know, oomph. So. That's pretty much all there is to it, adding texture to something like this, like a black and white image. This will also work with photography, for example. If you're working with kind of like a lighter paper texture and darker ink texture, that's gonna give you like more of a subtle effect. And the cool thing here is you can 
adjust these textures now to kind of push it further. So for example, say like this texture isn't showing up enough. Let's go to adjustments, brightness, and you can just raise the brightness. And then as you can see, I'm just gonna bump the contrast a little so it looks more stark. You're kind of getting like a faded ink effect now because we're making this lighter. So I'm just gonna hit okay there. Say pink isn't your vibe. In the textures that I have here, I did scan like a bunch of different colors, but let's say you don't have that luxury. I'm just gonna go to adjustments, hue and saturation, and boom, we can get all sorts of different colors. We can use this little colorize check, mo check mark in hue slash saturation that I really, and that's pretty much just gonna do like a uniform color. And then, you know, we can go, let's try green. A nice green, let's maybe turn this saturation down. You can make the paper darker, lighter. It's kind of a cool effect. Let's see if some other colors look good. Like this pink, reddish color. Gray also looks pretty cool. And yeah, so that's pretty much the basics of it. Let's try a few more textures just to show you what it look like. looks like. I'm gonna try a few different design packs. So let's go to my design pack four. This one has a lot like crazier textures, so you're gonna get some crazier results. Um, let's try, I'm a big fan of this like, I think orange one looks really cool. Let's try something with, yeah, I like this red one. It's got some kind of distressed marks on it. And all I'm gonna do here is, first let's drag it to the size of the image. And I'm just gonna delete this old one. And same thing, we're gonna go to multiply. New texture, same image. Let's go an even crazier one just to see what it looks like. Let's do this magazine waves one. And this is like a scanned magazine I have. Again, multiply, boom. It's a little busy. Let's take these images away. And then you're kind of getting like, right off the bat, you're getting this nice, almost magazine print in a Photoshop file, like completely digital. Also from this design pack, I have this nice half tone, I think. Oh, you know what, it's in my, I think design pack five. Or no, it's in my retrograde. So this is the newest, newest one. Yes, this half tone gray is really cool. And that's gonna replace the dark one here. Set this one to screen. And I think I'm definitely gonna have to put the brightness down on this one to get the effect that we're going for. Bump up that contrast. Okay, let's do a little zoom in. Nice. It kind of like men or melds with the, let's use the legacy here. It kind of looks good with that, the half tone of the back. And it's actually applying this half tone to the whole thing. So it's kind of like nicely baking it together almost. Yeah, so that's pretty much the basics of adding texture to your designs. Paper texture or a lighter texture set to multiply. And then a darker texture, say like, it could be anything, scratches, ink, halftone, set that to screen. That's gonna turn the darker parts of the image lighter to look like the printed. Yeah, so this is the first video. We're gonna be doing a advanced version of this. I'm gonna show you like some cooler ways to add texture to your designs with like things like gradients and layering textures and everything. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you have any ideas for tutorials and yeah. Get ready for a lot more. Thanks.